Hey YouTube! Hey, welcome back! Today we're gonna do some flotation foam! Says it takes four minutes to react, so I guess it's gonna be a quick video. <laughs> so stick with me. <laughs> Welcome to my life. All right, YouTube, so it's a hot, hot day today. The humidity is through the roof. It stormed last night for hours, and now the sun's just baking it on you. And uh, man, let me tell you, these, my fiberglass clothes, uh, they're itchy when you put them on. I mean, I don't have to do any work anymore. I just put them on and I'm already itching. Uh, they're getting well used, that's for sure. I'll be throwing these away, <laughs> away when this project's done. But uh, yeah, so today we're gonna do this flotation foam. I really don't know how much to use. I mean, that area in there is really not that big um so i don't know i mean uh, uh i think i'm going to try to do two ounces of each and then mix together that's four ounces and i don't know if that's gonna be enough or not i mean i guess i can always pour more on top right um so that's my thought process it doesn't give you much time at all like you got 40 seconds and you got to get it poured in there and then four minutes and it's over um so it's one of those things i'll set up the camera those cameras and uh, we'll mix it up and i'll pour in there and we'll see what happens i don't know I don't want to overdo it because I don't want it flowing out the top. So I guess underdoing it and then adding more is probably the right way to do it. So uh, I guess let's get busy. Mm. Mm. It's not really a level surface. I can smell part two. So this is probably not near enough, but it'll get us an idea of what we're going to get into, for sure. Oh yeah, she's cooking up, boy. She's cooking up. She's reacting already. Again, probably not near enough, but we'll see. Well, you didn't even get halfway down the thing, so I know that ain't going to be enough. Well, that wasn't going to be anywhere near enough, is it? I was just making sure it didn't go blow up on me or something. Let's do another. Come back. Alright, so that wasn't that crazy. And it didn't make that much. Do that again. Arrow first. This is actually fun. It doesn't blow up as fast as I thought it was gonna, nor does it make as much as I thought it was going to. So that's good. But it's better to do it this way than to have a mess going. Get her all mixed in there.
stupid. We have a suggestion in that now. Thank you. Let's see what this does. Except for it's all running back because the boat's sitting sideways. Huh. Crack a pup in it for sure. I'm going to down jack this boat so it's more level. Right now, it is not level at all. And all the film is running to the back. Smart man would breathe while he's outside of that thing. It's a little more level. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad if it went to the front. A little bit. I think it's kind of parked on a hill, too. That'll be better. It is coming to the front a little bit now. So, let's get back in there and make up some more. This is kind of fun. It's using a lot more than I thought it would, though. I guess, though, the words rapid expansion probably have different meanings in different people's heads, right? Whew. All right. Get some more mixed up and get it in. Wild. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get this front this time. Again. Let's see if it'll stay there though. It's still coming backwards, but let's see if we can get that to stick. I guess I gotta pour this anyway. Right? It gets warm when you mix it up, that's for sure. Definitely works. Definitely works. Okay. Oops. Didn't look at me. Let's do this thing a little bit more. Maybe like a little spot there.
I think I can do a decent job here. It's rolling this way fast anyway. It's going to find a hole, no matter what you do, I guess. I think the fuck is done. So this stuff's pretty neat stuff. I, I like it. It's, uh, it's fun to work with. I think it came out pretty good. It's one of the easier things I've done on this booth so far. So uh, I like it. It's a cool deal. Alright, I don't know if you heard a word I said in there. But I like the stuff, it's pretty neat. Um, it took a whole lot, I thought it was a little bit was gonna blow up, just the way they made it sound on the instructions. But it took quite a bit to make quite a bit, right? So, um, it came out really nice, I think. Uh, may even pour a little bit more in there later, up in that top corner, just so the water can flow down if everything gets trapped in there or whatever. I'll probably do that when I fill the other side, though. Um, so yeah, I think the next step then is to uh, start cutting this side open once this dries up. And then that way, I didn't. Well, I wanted to do that first so that I didn't have to clean up from the, all the fiberglass dust that gets in there and all that. So, so this side is done as far as I'm concerned, other than the drain. Um, so we got to get over here and start getting this all cut out and ripped out up to that other stringer and get that all cleaned up and then start re start the rebuild. All right. So hopefully I get to that here. Uh, I think it's going to be hot weather until Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. So hopefully I get that done Wednesday and. Uh, We'll get rolling on this. Get the side ripped out. All right, so we'll see what this uh, video brings, but until then, I'll see you probably in two seconds. Some guy just came through here in probably a Fontaine or a Baja or something. So I'm gonna sit down here and wait till he goes by. I thought that was pretty interesting. It's a big boat to come down this far like. He'll be coming back though, cause there ain't no way out of there. Just get shallow, unless he brings a pop. It goes too far. Be interesting to see one. Good morning YouTube. Hey, this morning I'm going to get prepped for tearing out the left midsection of the boat, the $10 boat. Uh, so I got to move the truck, get the dump truck, hook up to the boat and get it pulled over here before the big rain comes in. It has rained um, a couple times yesterday, small rains and then uh, while well, I was mowing actually, and I got mowing done and then it really downpoured. But this morning I'd like to get the boat moved over here before the ground gets too wet again. Uh, I think we're going to get rain. Uh, starting this afternoon all the way through Wednesday. It's just going to be soaking rains and once that starts I can't get in the grass and move anything. So I'm gonna get this truck moved out of the way, get the dump truck hooked up the boat, get it over here so that way during the rainstorms I can work on tearing that left side out. Hopefully. Well, let's get this stuff moved.
<laughs> okay, so we by no means beat the rain, but uh, hey, we, we got it done before the ground was saturated, which is the biggest thing because I don't want me to leave big ruts in the yard. There's like a dump truck that came through and put a pile of dirt back on this before I owned this land. It must have been five years ago, and those ruts are still in the yard. I need to get them flattened out. And I think the water just starts running down them and just makes a path, but anyway, we got everything moved over. The dump truck will just be on this side of the yard for a while. The only thing I didn't get done that I wanted to is I wanted to mow where the boat was because it's pretty tall there. But we'll get that on a different day. The big thing is to get this over here to where I can work on it in the rainstorm uh, this week. So. It's funny, I don't like this thing sitting in a field. But it sat in a field for over eight years out in the sun. And I'm all worried about it getting a little, a little wet and a little sun. Oh well, it's funny the mindset. Funny the mindset. I know most of these gravies sit out in the sun their whole lives, don't they? Hey, check out this tank that they're building this week at Patriot Marine Fabricating. This is amazing. It's like 400 gallons or something. Here it is, all welded up. What a beautiful thing. Hey, all right, YouTube. Today I find myself in an interesting position. I uh, have moved the boat because of the rain, and of course it has rained already, and it's going to rain here in an hour or so again. Uh, we're supposed to get some really good rains here the next couple days. I was actually going to wait and do this tomorrow uh, when it was raining and cooler. It's supposed to be dropping in the low 70s. And I thought, well, what a great time to be working inside there and ripping that fiberglass out. Um, but then I was inside, and I could, could add a video, but I was inside, and I'm like, man, what am I doing? I mean, it's a beautiful day get out there and get to work so i'm gonna go in and start ripping out the left side of the midsection hey i'm all taped up got the gloves on just need to put the mask on I'm ready to go let's get to work all right so there we go and that's what we're starting now at trying to rip that stuff out i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i think on that side i end up leaving no i think i ripped that all out yeah so i'll do the same thing here so i'll cut along the wall cut there cut there pull this big piece of fiberglass out and then start chopping away at that stuff and then figure this water tank out and everything else so this should be fun it's gonna be a mess it's good to get started though we need to get going on it we need to finish this midsection out boy and get it done all right well let's get to work on this So we got the tank out, that's good. I kept getting wet and I'm like, why am I getting wet? What's getting me wet? It was the uh, tank still had water and it was leaking out the back, the bottom. So uh, yeah, it just kept leaking out. I'm like, what is going on? But it's the little pump motor right here. It was just shooting a little water out. It had a little left in the top of the tank, I guess. So we'll let that go ahead and flow out and we'll get this tank out of here. Well, we'll get this tank out of the way. I should get a new little motor though while I'm in here. This up here, hard to protect it. Yeah, she still has water in her. Drag out away. Get that last little bit of water out of there. Make that tank a lot lighter. Woo! Wipe that nasty thing off. I should have washed her. I will before it's over. So, 571912, whatever that is. Huh. Anybody know what that means? Be interested to know. Oh, of course, everything in here again is 
covered with fiberglass, but we knew that was going to happen. So, no big deal there. Let's just water dry up a little bit. It's a, it's coming. I mean, it's a mess for sure, right? Um, but it's coming out. I need to uh, get a couple screws in that one board. I'll have to get out of there, but it's kind of weird. This board down here is just there. It's not fiberglass or anything. It's just a board that they put in there, chopped it in there, put it up against the stringer, and it's got, it doesn't even have fiberglass on it. Which is interesting to me. But what can you do? So my goal then now, right now, is to get that top piece out, probably this board and this shelf, and then this foam right here. Um, and then maybe even cut in the back. I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to kind of see as we go. Um, obviously, I'm already dying, but that's just part of part of this mess, right? But at least I know what I'm doing as far as where to cut and what I can cut and what I can't. Because last time I had to be super cautious. Uh, this time I'm cautious, but nowhere near like I was. So we're getting it. We're getting it. And I guess we should get back to work. Hopefully I'm getting decent footage. I mean, look at my camera's hanging down now. But I need to back up over there. But And then this one will shoot from the top. We'll see how that comes out.
All right. Whew, I am itchy. I had to stop, had to get some trash bags, clean up my goggles and my mask. They were just getting so nasty. Uh, we're making quick work of it though. I mean, honestly, I mean, you remember last time how long it took to get as far as I've gotten now. Of course, haven't done this before. It really does help, right? Um, you know, I know that a lot of times the guys that do this every day are like, what in the world is this guy doing? And I get it, but you know, I've never done this before. Now, doing it before and now doing this, side i mean it's, it's it's tripled my speed right i mean way faster than the other side now i haven't done all the trim work and clean up and all that stuff which still needs to be done and obviously i gotta get all the mess out of there but but it is going a lot faster don't you think um yeah uh boy i am an itchy itchy mess though let me tell you Whew, it's bad but i want to get i want to get the mass fit finished uh i'd like to get all the fiberglass out of there that has to be cut i'd like to get that done today but I don't think that's going to happen there's just too much left to do but uh you know we've come a long way so i think i'll go in there and get this cleaned up see what other stuff i can do and then uh and then do a real good cleanup after that i think that's the kind of the plan but uh yeah whoever suggested the sawzall man phenomenal that that made quick work of that foam compared to the other way now i still got to clean it up but but uh compared to hacking at that stuff until i got it all out yeah, saws all. That's the way to go. You know, when they so lots of times you guys suggest stuff after I've already done like two or three videos, so there's no way to go back. But in this case, uh, I was able to do it again on this side. Try that out, see how it worked, and what what a great suggestion. So, well, let's get back at this and try to get as much done as I can. I need to get cleaned up and then and then go try to trim out as, as much as I can get done. Um, just you don't you don't want to get nasty a bunch of times. If I can, after getting this itchy you know it's hard to come back to it <laughs> it makes you make excuses not to do it so uh, let me get in there and get going YouTube, hey, that was a pretty successful day. We got the entire side inside gutted out to where it needs to be. I will have to come back in with paddle sander and clean all the wood off the fiberglass, but we got everything out that we need to get out, and we got everything cut down that we need to get cut down. So way faster than the other side. Uh, obviously, I've learned a lot, and you guys have given me a lot of great hints uh, on how to move forward, and we've I've implemented those, and they've worked pretty good. Um, we do, like I said, we still got to get in there. There's still some nastiness in there. I did clean it all out, but um we still have to go in there and paddle sand which will be the next job i just can't do any more today i'm just itching like crazy i've uh, washed my shirt hat and gloves down with the hose and uh, i've kind of rinsed my arms off and stuff but uh i've got to get in there and get in the cold shower and try to get some of this fiberglass off me um but what a good day especially considering that i wasn't going to do anything today i was going to do it tomorrow when it was cooler but uh, i'm glad i did i'm glad i did um so yeah we'll get in there and paddle sand i don't know when that'll be because i'm not looking forward to getting back in there and getting itchy again but uh probably give it a day or two and then i'll get back in there and paddle sand that all down and then we'll clean it down real good uh and then we'll start building her back 
All right. See you next week.